Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm just going to run you through uh, some of the more advanced features of ODS that make it extremely powerful for doing uh, academic research and uh, complex sort of uh, consulting work. Um, and what we're specifically going to look at here is uh, doing parametric simulations. Okay, so we're going to vary a few parameters and then get them all running simultaneously, making maximum use of a quad core machine that I have here. Okay. So what's actually going to happen is in, in ODS Studio version 0.6, we've got this new multi-threading support here. So um, Energy Plus simulations get queued up, and then you can run through uh, lots of different parametric variations. So what we've got is a, an office building here, just a sort of a simple um, office building. Um, you can watch a previous tutorial if you want to see how to actually make them pretty quickly. Um, but what we've got, got here is a couple of different glass types we might want to experiment with. So if we look here, um, that glass there, at the moment it's grey 3 millimetres, but it could be clear 3 millimetres. What if we wanted to try that as well? Um, similarly, um, we might want to try a different uh, combination of thicknesses of insulation on there, which is currently 20 millimetres, uh, sorry, 200 mil, but we might want to try 150, we might want to try 100 mil. These are just rough numbers just to get an idea of um, you know, how, how this works. So one of the extremely powerful things is the ability to script because everything that you do in ODS can be controlled through the Python interface. Everything you do in ODS and in Blender. All of the calls are available, all of ODS's methods, all of the data, it can all be accessed uh, through the scripting interface. Okay, So you can see this is actually quite a short uh, script, it's only about 20 lines long. What it just does is it imports the uh, BPy module which is required to script in Python. Uh, inside of Blender. It then actually gets all of the windows and makes a list of window objects. Okay, It then goes through and actually um, says I want to try these different types of glazings. One's the clear 3mm and one's the grey 3mm. Okay? And these are actually just grabbed out of the um, BPy data materials which is just the standard material stack. Okay? Uh, it then goes, okay, what thicknesses of insulation do I want to try? 100, 150, and 200 mil. Okay, then it goes through these in just a, a double embedded for loop. So this is about the simplest of scripts you could ever have. If you really wanted to up the ante a little bit, it would be probably wise to, to actually uh, use some sort of intelligent decision making uh, algorithm, uh, which is completely within your means to, to write yourself. Um, you can create an algorithm, but this is really a, a very dumb parametric run. It just it goes through the thicknesses and then it goes through the glazing list. So you can see you've got three thicknesses, two types of glazings. So all up you're going to have uh, six, um, six sort of simulations. If we had three types of, um, of glazing, we could try um, you know, we'd have uh, 27 different sort of combinations that we could experiment with. Okay, so um, all that goes through is it changes the concrete to that uh, insulation uh, to, to, to that thickness, or the, sorry, the actual concrete to that thickness, uh, 100, 150, and 200 mil concrete, and it also changes then the glazing type by substituting um, all the windows to actually have material type glazing. Okay. It then actually just exports the um, case directory and then uh, set, sets it up, exports the mesh, and then runs it. Okay, so this is how you would just do a. It's very very simple to set up um, complex parametric simulations. So all we have to do literally is just select all the objects here, and then we'll just type uh, run script. Okay, and away we go. So what you can actually see that's done is it's queuing up all of these jobs. Uh, simultaneously and you can see my, my processor here I've set it to have run on four threads at a time so you can see I've uh, I've got an, a quad core with um, hyper threading so it actually has up to eight threads but I prefer just to use only four of the physical CPUs at a time and you can see here it's using all four of them as well as the video recording at the same time as this and it's running through because we have six simulations to do it's actually going to get to the end of these four and then queue up the final two. So now it's actually getting the final two running and you can actually see the results are going to be wherever I've on my desktop in demos, in um, parametric sims and you can see here are all my results. Okay, And uh, it's you could write again your own scripts or you can find your own ways of actually going through and extracting out the relevant uh, useful information from the model output directories. They're all through here. So that's just a simple um, example of how to actually run through and uh, do um, a parametric study in ODS Studio with Blender.
Thanks for listening.